Hello everyone. Today we're going to draw an angry baseball. First I'm drawing in a very light circle. Anytime I draw I, I try to make sure that I draw very lightly not to make any definite lines just in case if I have to erase. Now I'm placing in some other guidelines the horizontal line is for the eyes, the eyes eye placement, and the vertical line is help for the direction in which the face or the ball is facing. Now I'm lightly drawing in the eyes and the brow line. Next I am drawing in the pupils very lightly drawn in the other pupil right now I'm just shading in the pupils very lightly but later I'll darken those bringing in some of the expressive lines now I'm trying to flesh out the shape of the mouth. Now what I'm trying to do is create these teeth. Now teeth are very tough to draw at times. And they're not all the same size or even shape. But the trick is to give the illusion that they're teeth. Now in this area, I'm drawing in the teeth and also leaving a little bit of the gum line. You can see the lip area and then where the gum line touches the lip area and the teeth. Because our lips actually point upward when we're gritting our teeth. Now I'm bringing in the bottom teeth. Paying very close attention to the top teeth and how they are related to each other. And I left gaps between the bottom row of teeth and the top row on purpose because our teeth don't always line up perfectly. Now I'm drawing in the bottom part of the lip, again leaving a little bit of line or area for the gum line. This is the bottom lip. I'm trying to refine these lines along the lip. Now what I'm doing is bringing in the seam of the ball. This is where the laces will be placed along this seam. Now what I'm doing is bringing in the laces along the seam of this ball. I want to make sure the laces overlap that seam as to bring the seam together. In this part of the tutorial, it takes quite a long time to create these seams, so we're going to speed it up and we'll come back. Okay, I finished up the seams, added in some shadows around the seams and the laces. 
Now what I'm doing is bringing in some of the details along the teeth, along the lip line, gum lines, the spaces in between the teeth. Now as I darken in this area around the teeth, it'll help make these teeth actually jump out, stand out a lot better. And creating those gaps in the teeth makes it really look like the teeth are gritting down right on top of each other. What I'm doing now is shading in the gum line. That way the gums stand out just a little bit more than the teeth do. Or at least they recede, they go back a little bit further than the teeth. So the teeth will jump out and stand out a lot better with the contrast. Now as I go through here, I shade, up, shade the gums, I also try to bring in some of the definition around the teeth area. And some of the areas of the teeth are a little darker than others. I don't want to make a definite line all the way around it, just in some areas where the shadows hit. You can see I don't darken too much of the teeth down in the center area, just along the sides. Now I'm bringing in the eyes a little bit darker so they can stand out. And refining some of these lines. Got the brow line. I'm going to bring now in the shadow or the drawing of the eyebrow. Bring in the ridge of the other brow. Notice that this part of the brow actually overlaps this lace. Pushes the lace a little bit further back, makes the brow look like it actually does stand out. I wasn't too happy with this part of the lip line, so I'm going to fix this. And Try to refine the line just a little bit more, bring it down. That way it has a little bit more of a personality, I feel. What I'm doing now is just trying to refine these lines to bring out the shape of this ball. Bringing in the shadow underneath the gum or the underneath the lip, rather. Using the side of my pencil to bring in the shadows. Again, the light source is coming from the right side, so the shadows will be on the left. Creating these shadows just gives it a little extra flair to your drawing. It makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Creates depth. Creates shape. Using my finger just to smudge it. Blend in the shadow areas. Just trying to refine some of these lines along the seams and the laces. Darkening up the shadows a little bit more. After I smudged them, they became a little lighter. Now I'm bringing in a darker pencil. 
almost like a colored pencil, black colored pencil, just to bring in these darker areas, make it a little bit stronger, a stronger darkness to them. Using this darker pencil really makes it look really good with the contrast of the lighter lines and the lighter shadows. Now I'm outlining parts of the teeth at the bottom because those are the areas where the shadows are the strongest. Now I'm trying to darken up the edges of the ball itself and the laces. Keep it in mind that the light source is on the right side so the laces would have a darker shadow on the left side of them. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part of the tutorial up once again with the laces and we'll come back. Now I'm going to use this pencil to darken in the eyes and the eyebrows and the wrinkles to give more expression to this ball. Just going back through and trying to refine my lines. And using the side of my pencil to begin shading once again, darken some of the areas that might have been faded through the smudging process. And bringing some shadows around the teeth area. Not too much, just a little bit of a shadow. I want those teeth to show. But at the same time, I want to make them look like they have a little bit more form to them. Bring in the dark pencil once again, just to darken some of these areas up that I feel need to have a little bit more of a contrast. I'm trying to separate the dark areas from the from the dark areas to the gum lines. I want those gums to also show too. That's why they're not as dark. But they are darker than the teeth. Now I'm just darkening these laces, trying to make them just a little bit more refined. I want them to show. Darken along the edges of the ball. Right now I'm refining the edges, trying to make them darker so they stand out from the white background. Emphasizing the outside shapes of your drawing really makes it pop. Now I'm just bringing in some action lines. All right, I think we have another completed drawing. I think you all did a wonderful job and thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time.